G'day Curd Nerds, welcome to day three of the Cheese A Day Challenge and today's cheese is Shaw River Buffalo Mozzarella. Now I'm very excited about this cheese, it's the first time I've had authentic buffalo mozzarella, obviously not made in Italy, but it's made here in Australia and I'll just read a little bit about it. First of all, the ingredients, pure buffalo milk 100%, salt, non-animal rennet and culture. So that's what the ingredients are. And a bit about the mozzarella, it says Shaw River Buffalo Mozzarella, hand stretched using traditional Italian methods to produce beautifully smooth white balls of milky fragrant taste ideal for cooking or serving fresh in salads okay very cool and the fat content is 24.7 percent uh, it's manufactured in a town called Yambuck in Victoria which uh, I don't think is very far away from here uh, 300 kilometers something like that it's not very far anyway so let's get into the uh, Shaw River uh, buffalo mozzarella. Now you've noticed also I've got some basil from the garden or basil, basil it's called here, and some fresh cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to attempt to make a, um, a traditional Italian salad there. Oh, now I've got to figure out how to open it. It says tear off. Okay, let's give that a go without knocking me tomatoes everywhere. Oh, there we go, got that. Just water. It's not even brine. I thought it would be brine. Anyway, let's get this mozzarella out. There we are. Beautiful looking ball of mozzarella. Better than I could make, I reckon. <laughs> anyway, I'll just reserve that over there. Uh, springy. Lovely. Looks like it's just been pinched off there. But it's soft, very nice indeed. All right. So let's have a taste test. Oh, before I go, my lovely wife Kim, who's out of shot, has reminded me that uh, these tomatoes are homegrown. I grew them myself. So lovely little cherry tomatoes. I think they're called Tommy Toes, is the variety. So let's slice. Oh, slices so smoothly. Look at that. Absolutely delightful. Oh, and it's oozing too. <laughs> right. Let's try a piece up by itself first. That is amazing. That is much better than the mozzarella that I make. But seeing I use cow's milk, cow's milk to make my mozzarella, chalk and cheese, totally different. The buffalo milk obviously has that special property that uh, an extra, it's got a lot of fat in buffalo milk as well, but this cheese. Oh. Mmm. That's amazing. Really amazing. So they obviously know how to make their buffalo mozzarella down at uh, Shaw River, that's for sure. Ah, pardon the pun. Alrighty, um, let's try some tomato and some basil. Bit of basil, let's put it all in a cracker, if I've got a cracker that's solid there. What do you reckon, all in? Mmm. Oh, the flavours. Mmm. There's a party in my mouth. It's amazing. That is really, really good. When combined, it, it was great by itself, but combine it with fresh basil and fresh tomatoes picked no more than 20 minutes ago, then um, amazing, 
mind-blowing flavor experience um, really good I've, I've got to have another piece and it's just oozy milky that's half let's not be greedy a leaf and then a tomato let's try that again because that was just mind-blowing let's go mmm so so good that is perfect so how much this little piece of cheese cost well let me have a look that little piece of cheese which weighs 120 grams cost me $11 Australian so fairly expensive but I tell you what for the taste I'd have no hesitations to buy that again um, traditional buffalo mozzarella is just an amazing cheese so absolutely delightful I highly recommend the uh, Shaw River buffalo mozzarella now just remember through these videos they're not sponsored I've gone out and bought all of the cheeses myself um, however maybe near the end of the season as I get closer and start running out of cheeses from the supermarket then I may call out to see if any artisan cheese makers would like me to sample their fare and show it on the cheese a day challenge now don't forget that the show is sponsored by you guys the patrons and YouTube members so um, if you're interested in supporting the show financially please pop over to the links are in the description below now tomorrow's cheese is King Island uh, hang on what's it called <laughs> King Island Dairy Tasmanian Pepperberry uh, so that's a unique cheese um, yet to taste it so that will be uh, very interesting so it's a native uh, pepper from the Australian bush anyway as always thanks for watching curd nerds and I will see you tomorrow on the cheese a day challenge